covariance is a measure of how much two variables change together and how strong the relationship is between them. Analysis of covariance is a general linear model which blends A and OVA and regression. And COVA evaluates whether population means of a dependent variable are equal across levels of a categorical independent variable, while statistically controlling for the effects of other continuous variables that are not of primary interest, known as covariates. Therefore, when performing an COVA, the DV means are adjusted to what they would be if all groups were equal on the CV. Uses of ANCOVA, increase power, ANCOVA can be used to increase statistical power by reducing the within group error variance. In order to understand this, it is necessary to understand the test used to evaluate differences between groups, the F test. The F test is computed by dividing the explained variance between groups by the unexplained variance within the groups. Thus, F equals, if this value is larger than a critical value we conclude that there is a significant difference between groups. Unexplained variance includes error variance, as well as the influence of other factors. Therefore, the influence of CVs is grouped in the denominator. When we control for the effect of CVs on the DV, we remove it from the denominator making F larger, thereby increasing your power to find a significant effect if one exists. Adjusting pre-existing differences Another use of ANCOVA is to adjust for pre-existing differences in non-quivalent groups. This controversial application aims at correcting for initial group differences that exists on DV among several intact groups. In this situation, participants cannot be made equal through random assignment, so CVs are used to adjust scores and make participants more similar than without the CV. However, even with the use of covariates, there are no statistical techniques that can equate in equal groups. Furthermore, the CV may be so intimately related to the IV that removing the variance on the DV associated with the CV would remove considerable variance on the DV, rendering the results meaningless. Assumptions of ANCOVA There are five assumptions that underlie the use of ANCOVA and affect interpretation of the results. Assumption 1 Normality of residuals The residuals should be normally distributed. Assumption 2. Homogeneity of variances. The error variances should be equal for different treatment classes. Assumption 3. Homogeneity of regression slopes. The slopes of the different regression lines should be equivalent, that is, regression lines should be parallel among groups. Assumption 4. Linearity of regression. The regression relationship between the dependent variable and concomitant variables must be linear. Assumption 5. Independence of error terms, the error terms should be uncorrelated. The third issue, concerning the homogeneity of different treatment regression slopes is particularly important in evaluating the appropriateness of ANCOVA model. Also note that we only need the error terms to be normally distributed. In fact both the independent variable and the concomitant variables will not be normally distributed in most cases. Conducting an ANCOVA, Test multicollinearity, if a CV is highly related to another CV, then it will not adjust the DV over and above the other CV. One or the other should be removed since they are statistically redundant. Test the homogeneity of variance assumption, tested by Levin's test of equality of error variances. This is most important after adjustments have been made, but if you have it before adjustment you are likely to have it afterwards. Test the homogeneity of regression slopes assumption, to see if the CV significantly interacts with the IV, run an ANCOVA model including both the IV and the CVXIV interaction term. If the CVXIV interaction is significant, ANCOVA should not be performed. Instead, Green and Selkin suggest assessing group differences on the DV at particular levels of the CV. Also consider using a moderated regression analysis treating the CV and its interaction as another four. Alternatively, one could use mediation analyses to determine if the CV accounts for the IVA Euro unregistered trademark S effect on the DV. Run and COVI analysis, if the CVXIV interaction is not significant, rerun the ANCOVA without the CVXIV interaction term. In this analysis, you need to use the adjusted means and adjusted MSERA. The adjusted means refer to the group means after controlling for the influence of the CV on the DV. Follow-up analyses, 
If there was a significant main effect, it means that there is a significant difference between the levels of 1,4, ignoring all other factors. To find exactly which levels are significantly different from one another, one can use the same follow-up test as for the ANOVA. If there are two or more IVs, there may be a significant interaction, which means that the effect of 1,4 on the DV changes depending on the level of another factor. One can investigate the simple main effects using the same methods as in a factorial ANOVA power considerations, while the inclusion of a covariate into an ANOVA generally increases statistical power by accounting for some of the variance in the dependent variable and thus increasing the ratio of variance explained by the independent variables, adding a covariate into ANOVA also reduces the degrees of freedom. Accordingly, Adding a covariate which accounts for very little variance in the dependent variable might actually reduce power. See also, Menkova, covariance mapping, references, A. B. Howell, DC Statistical Methods for Psychology. Belmont, Sengage Wadsworth. Keppel, G. Design and Analysis, A. Researcher's Handbook. Englewood Cliffs, Prentice Hall, Incorporated, Tabagnik, B. G., and Fidel. LS using multivariate statistics. Boston, Pearson Education, Incorporated, Miller, GA, and Chapman, JP Misunderstanding Analysis of Covariance. Journal of Abnormal Psychology, 110, 40 48. Kutner, MH, Nachtrim, CJ, Netta, J, and Lee, W. Applied Linear Statistical Models. New York, New York. McGraw Hill Irwin. Green, SB, and Salkind, NJ using SPSS for Windows and Macintosh, analyzing and understanding data. Upper Saddle River, New Jersey, Prentice Hall. External links, examples of all ANOVA and ANCOVA models with up to three treatment factors, including randomized block, split plot, repeated measures, and Latin squares, and their analysis in R. One-way analysis of covariance for independent samples, use of covariates in randomized controlled trials by G.J.P. Van Brieckelen and K.R.A. Van D.I.J.K.